So my experience with glass mouse pads has been interesting. I made a Pulsar Superglide for quite some time, and while I enjoyed a lot of aspects of glass, I found myself having to work much harder to achieve similar results to my cloth pads. While glass pads in the past have mainly been focused on speed and frictionless designs, the Padsmith Purple Empress is something a little bit different. It is a glass pad that aims to give back a bit of control. After over a month of regular usage, I feel ready to give some thoughts on it. As with most glass mouse pads, it feels fast. You're still going to be working a lot harder to control your mouse with this pad. While it has an emphasis on control, that doesn't simply erase the base characteristics of glass. However, I find it does a really great job of giving you a bit of feel back. It is drastically different from untextured glass pads in my opinion, and in a great way. I love the extra control, and I genuinely think this is a great direction for glass pads to go in. As with other glass pads, it's cool to the touch, easy to clean, and doesn't suffer from the wear characteristics that cloth pads do. You can definitely feel the texture over the surface that is responsible for the added control. I found the downside of this texture is that for my skin, a sleeve is required more so than on an untextured glass pad. If you want to be consistent through a variable of temperatures and humidity levels, I wouldn't recommend using this pad without a sleeve. I picked up the Pulsar sleeve, as I found I needed a sleeve that covered my palm with my grip. With the Pulsar Super Glide, I felt I could only realistically use it in Overwatch 2. When I tried to play tack shooters like Valorant and CS2, I was struggling to aim consistently. I definitely feel more confident using the Padsmith Purple Empress in Valorant than I did the Pulsar Super Glide. I still feel more inconsistent on the Purple Empress versus a cloth pad, but I love the added glass speed feeling I get, even on an eDPI as low as mine, which is 160 in Valorant. In case you don't know, eDPI is calculated by multiplying your in-game sensitivity by your DPI. This speed with the extra control texture makes a fantastic recipe for a glass pad that I'm confident to use in any FPS. What I usually do is use the Purple Empress and if I feel too inconsistent at the time, I'll just throw my Artisan Zero Soft on top of it. I did pick up some X-Ray Pad Obsidian Pro Dots which I will do a separate review on using them with the Purple Empress. Glass Pads as a training tool I feel is an aspect that I myself overlooked when first using them. I've found that grinding aim labs on glass and transitioning to a cloth pad afterwards has really increased the value of my time spent aim training. I now exclusively use my Purple Empress when doing my routines, and I've been consistently improving my scores. When I go back to my cloth pad, it just feels like I'm locked in. I'm definitely going to continue experimenting with this. The Purple Empress, like every other glass pad, definitely still suffers from the problem of grit feeling like sandpaper if it is between the mouse and the pad. However, and I don't know if this has anything to do with the texture, I find that I encounter this issue far less on the Purple Empress than I do on the smoother surface of the Super Glide. I don't know if this has been dumb luck, or if somehow the texture makes it harder for particles to adhere to it, but it is an observation. If you own or use the pad, feel free to leave a comment detailing your experience with this. As I mentioned earlier, I believe a sleeve is basically a requirement with this pad. It just feels incredibly more consistent using a sleeve. This might be due to my own skin qualities, but personally it feels incredibly difficult to use this pad without one. I want to try more sleeves in the future, but I've been using the Pulsar ES sleeve for a while now as I wanted a sleeve that covered my palm. 
So far, it has been holding up well with a lot of usage contrary to some of the Amazon reviews. Thankfully, glass pads win out over cloth in the area of durability. Your glass pad is going to stay consistent through regular usage, and if you're the type of person who wants to avoid consumables as much as possible, a glass pad is a fantastic choice as it will likely last a lifetime through regular usage. Just don't use glass gates on it, and don't put objects on it that may scratch, impact, or otherwise damage the surface. A great aspect of glass pads is the lack of slow spots developing over time. This means that you will have a one-to-one -one surface no matter where you're using your mouse on the pad. Glass pads will wear out your regular PTFE skates faster than your cloth pad. With the ever-growing skate market, your speed of wear will vary based on the qualities of your skates such as hardness and surface area. I find that using dots is superior than standard skates on glass, and they're much cheaper to get a large quantity. While I'm still reviewing them, the X-Ray Pad Obsidian Pros are dots made specifically for glass pads and seem to be a favorite among many members of the glass pad community. I'll have a full review on those later. Similar to the Super Glide, the Padsmith Purple Empress has a rubber base that stretches across the entire base of the pad. This pad does not budge on my desk. I hope all glass pads in the future follow this trend. It definitely gives an extra level of confidence when you know with 100% certainty that your pad will not shift during usage. Featuring fantastic artwork, the Padsmith Purple Empress is probably the most beautiful glass pad I've seen yet. It's nice that companies are beginning to get a bit more aggressive with the art beneath the glass. After all, it likely will not diminish as it's protected. I'm a fan of pretty much all Padsmith art choices. Definitely check out their other pads. They have a speed-oriented blue empress, a red version coming out in the future, as well as quite a few cloth pads. I will definitely be keeping my eye on Padsmith, as it's refreshing to have pads that get a little extreme with art. I'm wondering if Padsmith will eventually do custom work, as I feel like we need more enthusiast options that integrate custom art. For example, I would love to get the artwork from one of my Synthwave project albums placed under the Purple Empress glass surface. The Purple Empress comes in one size, which is 490mm by 420mm by 4mm. This is the same size as the XL Superglide, and I think it's a great choice. I play on a very low sense, and I find I'm never running out of mouse room with this size. Normally, these are priced at US$75, but occasionally you can get versions with QC issues for US$60. They will be popping in and out of stock, so keep an eye out at padsmith.com if you want to snag one. The QC issue pads are described as, quote, silicone bubbling, sand in packages, and box damage. The mouse pad is still very usable, but at the bottom of the mouse pad will result in a non-aesthetic look, end quote. Shipping was extremely fast, taking only two business days to ship to me in the US. I ordered a QC issue version, and lucky for me, it arrived pretty much flawless. The Padsmith Purple Empress so far is my favorite glass pad. Harnessing that glass speedy feel while giving a bit of control back is like a dream come true. For a player like me who plays both arena shooters and TAC FPS games, it's nice to have a glass pad that I can confidently use on both. I still feel this pad, like other glass pads, is better suited for arena FPS, but I still often use it in Valorant. In Valorant, however, if I'm feeling inconsistent on the glass pad, I will simply throw my Artisan Zero Soft on top of it, and it definitely helps me to lock in. As with anything, these are my experiences and opinions, and yours may be different than mine. My goal is to help you make an informed decision as to whether or not this pad is for you, and I hope it helped. I'll see you next time. Like, comment, and subscribe if you want to see more.